for the past 30 days, I've had both of these 3D printers. Um, I started off with the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini about two or three months ago. I got it for Christmas from my parents. And then about a month later, I got the A1 and the Combo. I think both of these printers are great. I just wanted to do a comparison video between the two, just kind of seeing the pros and cons and seeing which one may be the best for you. If you're currently in the market for shopping for a 3D printer, I definitely recommend getting into it. There's just a lot of different pricing and a lot of different function between the printers that can kind of make sense for you. Um, so I kind of want to run through those for the A1 and A1 Mini and see kind of list the pros and cons of both and just see which is the best for you. So I'm going to kind of start off with the pros and cons of the A1 Mini. This was the printer I got first. So I got this for Christmas from my parents. Uh, I believe it's around 200, 220 bucks, depending on the time of this video. It could be on a sale. I saw it around Christmas time for about 179 at the lowest. So kind of depending on the time you get it, you can get it pretty cheap. This is honestly such a good printer for the price because of how well priced the A1 Mini is at its, at its core. You can almost get two of these for the price of the A1. For that function alone, the price is kind of a big selling point for this thing. It's such an affordable and great 3D printer. It doesn't really cut out on much that the A1 doesn't have, but there are still just a few benefits to the A1 that the A1 Mini doesn't have, but I'll get into those in a little bit. But the A1 Mini for the size, it's just, it doesn't take up much space. So if you have any spot in your house, you can put this. Like You're not really gonna have trouble finding a spot for it because it's so small. I've had mine sitting in my office for most of the time that I've had it. Just up until recently when I kind of built this whole garage shelf out, I just did that about two weeks ago. With having this, like the size is just so small and it's really easy to use. Now, both of these are pretty easy to use because they're bamboo labs. The bamboo labs are kind of, you get them out of the box, it takes 10 minutes and you can start printing something. But to start off with the pros, the pros of course is gonna be the sizing. The size that's so small, you just really, it's hard to go wrong with that size. The second thing is the price. The price, now when it's on sale for about $179, it's, I mean, that's like, you can't really beat that. As I'm making this video, I think it's around 200 to 220. It just kind of depends when you catch it, if it's on sale or not. This thing out of the box, I mean, it was just so easy to get started and get going. Um, I didn't really have any troubles with it. And it was just printing within, like I said, 10 minutes. And it was my first printer. I had no experience beforehand. I haven't had another 3D printer. And within 10 minutes, I already figured out how to use this thing. Now to go with the cons. So the cons of this printer are going to be that the, set, the size of the bed is pretty small. So you can get away with doing bigger projects with it, but it is gonna be kind of hard if you're wanting to make stuff like full mask. Like this is a Mandalorian mask I'm currently working on right now. It's just gonna be a little harder to do on this. Not saying it's impossible, but it's gonna take a lot more you know, slicing and chopping it to make it happen. I made this Spider-Man mask on the A1 Mini. So this one did turn out all right. Like you can, you definitely can make stuff with the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini, like full size stuff. You def I'm not saying you can't, it's just a lot more difficult. Let me put this helmet back. So for that reason alone, just for it being kind of a smaller bed size, like, I mean, this is the entire plate here. It's just, you know, if you want to do bigger projects long-term, like you do want to make full things like masks or you want to get into bigger things like maybe a, even a full body suit, I've been contemplating uh, doing that here soon. It is just going to be a little bit harder to do those things because of that. For that reason alone, that's why I wanted to upgrade for the A1. That's honestly the only real con. In my opinion, there's no other downside to this besides just the bed size. The best budget-friendly intro to 3D printing if you haven't had one yet. I would start with the A1 Mini. That's just my opinion though. I had a great time starting with it. I ran it for, you know, a month and a half before I got the A1 and I just, I made so many things on it. And like I said, if you're not planning on doing big things, this this is the printer I would do. I suck at this YouTube stuff. So now talking about the A1, the full size, um, the full size Bamboo Labs printer. This thing I upgraded to, and I also got the combo here as you can see, so I can multicolor print. That was one thing with my A1 Mini that I didn't get to do really any of was multicolor printing. Now that's not because of the A1, but that's just because I didn't buy the combo or I didn't get the combo for Christmas. Now this thing has been great ever since I bought it. Um, I'll kind of start off with the pros again, like I did the A1 Mini. Pros are gonna be the size, that's the big hitter. Just this bed size alone compared to the A1 Mini, I mean, it's just so much bigger. Like this can fit, like I said, a helmet. You can fit a lot more on this. It just makes doing stuff with a lot less user input. So like with the A1 Mini, like I said, you can do a lot of bigger projects, like you can make helmets and you can do stuff like that, but it requires you chopping, doing more prints. It just, it just makes you do more work essentially. With this, a lot of the time you can just get, do everything in one go because it is kind of the standard print size for most files. This thing is, is just perfect for most of the things that you're gonna do. Now I did get the A1 combo. So I do have the AMS Lite that you can multicolor print with. This also does work on my A1 Mini, so I do want to say that it's kind of not for either one. It's just a, a factor of the price when I bought this. So I spent $550 on this whole setup for the combo. I think this is about $350, if I'm not mistaken, without the combo. So just the printer alone. It's about $350, so it is not quite double the price of the A1 Mini, but it's close. You could almost get two A1 Minis for the price of this, but like I said, 
with the pros, the, the bed size, and the ease of use, I also think it's a lot more sturdy than the A1 Mini, just because it does have a two pillar system. So the A1 Mini does have the single arm. So I've had more prints mess up with the A1 Mini than I have the A1, just for that alone. I just think there's been a few times maybe it sh you know, when it's doing a print really fast, that it shook it really fast and it's not something that was common that's happened a lot but it does play into the sturdiness you know one print getting messed up can really suck <laughs> it does suck when you mess up a print you know you start a seven hour print you come out here there's a bunch of string it's only happened to me like maybe two times but it is unfortunate and it's happened more on the a1 mini now that i've had both for some time to play with them both just i think for that reason alone just because of the sturdiness so the sturdiness on this where it does have the the two pillars supporting the uh, y-axis I think it just makes it a lot more sturdier and you can just, you can trust, I feel like I trust the prints on this to come out for sure more than I do the A1 Mini. With the ease of use of Baby Labs, not had like, I feel like it's not been a struggle to get into it. I mean, the fact that they both have apps and everything like that, they're just, they're both super easy to use. Same with the A1, it's the A1 Mini. They're both about the same when it comes to compatibility with the easiness of using them. Now, the con. There's pretty much no cons with this as well. I and mean, neither one of these have many cons. It's really just what pros of the printer kind of serve you. The con I would put is the price. That's the big one. Like the big one of the A1 Mini is the size of the bed. The big con with this is the price compared to the A1 Mini. So you are looking around that $350 to $400 price point. If you'd rather have more printers, you could almost get two A1 Minis, like I said before, or you could go with the A1 for $350 plus dollars. I'm not sure the exact price point. And it also changes depending on sales. All right, so that kind of wraps up the comparison video. Kind of listed the pros and cons of each one for the prices, the bed size. It's kind of on you to make the decision. My final input is if you want something that's very beginner friendly, you don't want to you know, throw a bunch of money into it, get the A1 Mini. It's so affordable for 3D printing and how good it works and the ease of use. If you're just also wanting to plan on doing smaller projects, the A1 Mini will probably serve you perfect and you'll never even think about the A1. Now, if you do want to get into bigger projects eventually, for me, I, I'm trying to make this, you know, a YouTube channel. I've been posting a bunch of videos. I eventually want to make some bigger stuff and cool videos with my 3D printers. So for me, I did need something bigger. The A1, the full size A1, it just, it made more sense for me to get after the fact just because I wanted to do things like the mask. So it's just really up to you and what you're tailored for. I also was able to drop 350 bucks to get this it's really up to you and what you want to spend i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay subscribed i'm going to drop a lot of videos on tiktok youtube and instagram i'll have those in the uh, description below and if you guys have any other suggestions for videos you want to see me do in the future whether comparing these or something a big project you guys want me to take on as a print let me know and i will see you guys in the next video peace